Hello, hello, this is Jeremy Schuback welcoming you to part one of the Photoshop Expert series. Now, I assume you've already seen the other videos. You have a very good understanding of Photoshop. You know shortcut keys, you know layers, you know color correction, you know everything. I'm going to take you a step further. What we're talking about in this video is how to completely deck out your interface so it is exactly what you want. Photoshop by default. Photoshop, by default, has a ridiculous amount of, of menu items. The fact that a down arrow is needed, sure, I have a 13-inch screen, uh, it's not that big, but the fact that a down arrow is needed in order to see all of the menu items it is just absolutely ridiculous. There's no reason to need this many things in layers. I'm, I'm looking at this. Uh, new layer options, yeah, I never use this. Duplicate layer, I have a better way of doing that, control J. Um, delete layers, I'm never going to use any of these. So there is a way to get rid of, well, I'll use a couple of them. Um, there is a way to get rid of all of the uh, menu op options that you'll never use. In order to do that, uh, go into Edit Menus, so located right here, Edit Menus, uh, and do do do. You can now turn things on and off. So I don't want to see Edit New. I'll, I, I'm not going to use that. Um, useless, smart objects, hate them but need them. Uh, I'm just going to turn all the things I don't know. Video layers? Yeah, I don't need a whole thing for video layers. Lock all layers? You know what? This could be useful. I There is no shortcut key that I know of. Link unlink layers? There's something in the layers palette. You know, just go through and figure out if there's control shift E for merge layers. Um, figure out if there's another way you do it and if there is, then turn it off in the menu item. Um, don't need it. Um, I don't Actually, I'm not, I don't use matting, so I'm going to leave this out. I'm going to press OK. So I just did all that. I'm going to press OK. And now when I go to layer, all I see is this. Layer content, vector mask, and this I can work with. And frankly, I have another way of dealing with all of these. And when I go to this, Photoshop becomes manageable. Let's uh, set a key sh a keyboard shortcut. So a keyboard shortcut I never use is Q, and that sets uh, quick masks right there. I, I just I don't like quick masks. I use real masks. We'll talk about masks in a later tutorial. They're fantastic. Um, I never use quick masks, so I set Q to bring up the uh, the color picker because frankly, this is something I use all the time. In order to change keyboard shortcuts, you go into keyboard shortcuts. That's just edit keyboard shortcuts. It's located right there. And, uh, you know, then you can go through. You'll notice there's options for tools, panel menus, application menus, all of that. It's pretty self-explanatory. If I went to application menus, um, I could shift all of that. If you um, replace something with a keyboard shortcut that's assigned to uh, something else, uh, it, will, it will give you a warning. So I'm going to set a foreground color picker under tools to uh, Q, and it'll probably give you a, a warning of this no longer quick mask. That's fine. I'm going to hit accept. I'm going to say OK. And now when I hit Q, I get my color picker uh, going up. So you can mod that out as much as you want. Um, if you want to get a summary of your keyboard shortcuts, uh, go to summarize or type in Photoshop keyboard uh, shortcuts in, uh, in Google. In order to save all of these options right here, let's go back to Photoshop. Um, you go either into Window Workspace and then go uh, New Workspace, or you open up your Applications Bar. So I'm going to open up my Applications Bar, say New Workspace, and call it uh, Jeremy's Space. Uh, click yeah, Keyboard Shortcuts, Menus, Save. Uh, yes, I want to overwrite the current Jeremy space. Uh, and now if I want, I could go back to Essentials and we'll have things exactly how they were. Or I can go into Jeremy's space. I'm just going to click that and we'll get things the way that I want. All right, this has been the Photoshop Expert series. Uh, this one was all about modding out your interface to make it exactly what you want. There's a lot of stuff uh, set up. In the next session, we're going to jump straight into getting perfect selection. So click subscribe, tell your friends. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.